today on Divorce Court. My wife needs to understand that we're in this relationship together. We are equals. And even though we both have our own careers, we need to work on this relationship as a team. Brandon may be older than me, but I'm far more responsible than he is in this relationship. I believe the age plays a big, big role in this relationship. I love Brandon and I want to fight for our relationship, but if things don't change, I, I will have to walk away. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Kara Martin and Brandon Tripp. Your marriage is in trouble. You do not have any children together yet, but you want some redirection because you don't know what to do. So I'm going to start with Ms. Martin. Why don't you tell me why you believe we're here today? Uh, I believe we're here today because Brandon is very controlling um, in situations that we have, especially with arguments and Basically, like our livelihood, Brandon is very controlling. Now, give me an example of something he's done that's controlling. Well, Brandon one time has came to my work. Um, he stalked me. I guess I was at work, and he talked to a co-worker of mine um, to try to get some type of story out of what does Kara do at work, how does Kara act at work, um, does Kara act like she's in a relationship at work. Mr. Tripp, did you do that? I, it wasn't that work, though. I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't that work. It's on a random street. It, it was on a ran You was talking was to a woman on a random street about your a wife's co-worker. conduct? Uh, it, nah, it was... I heard she wasn't wearing her ring. <laughs> I heard she wasn't wearing her ring at work. I had to find out. I Why mean, wasn't I wearing my ring? If you hear your wife ain't wearing her ring, what you gonna do? Or if you hear your husband ain't wearing his ring? I'm not wearing mine. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> <laughs> We've been married 27 years. I just... <laughs> Tell me a little bit about how you two get together. You're awfully young to have been married two years. You're 21 and you're 31. How did this happen? Um, I was 17 at the time and Brandon was 27. Um, it was kind of like a fluke, I guess, but um, he met me. Uh, he walked up to me, how he approached me. It was respectful and I'd never been approached that way before, especially by a man. Um, I realized he was older, and I, I mean, it didn't bother me at the time. Um, I mean, it still doesn't bother me. Um, I realized uh, he was hunched over, and I, I could tell something was wrong with him um, until later on he let me know he was in remission of cancer, mm -hmm. and I think that brought us closer. Uh -huh. But 18, that's so young to get married. Was your family worried? Oh, yeah, they were, they were worried. They had things to say um, at the age of 17. Yeah. Uh, of course, they had things to say. Um, and but, they... but you didn't listen. No. 17-year-olds rarely do. <laughs> so one of the issues I believe Mr. Tripp has is that he doesn't believe you're supportive of him in his medical care. He's got cancer, and he says that, you know, you don't help him out, you don't go to doctor's visits, you won't <laughs> go get his medicine. I mean, pretty much that you're just, like, not doing anything for him. Is that okay. accurate? No, ma'am. Um, I don't know what he was referring to. <laughs> well, let's ask him. Mr. Tripp. It's, it's on me? It's on it's you. On me. Let's do it. All right. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I got diagnosed with cancer in 2010, mm -hmm. September, a couple days after my birthday. Uh. Met this beautiful lady, February 13th. You know, we clicked. Um, she understood the complications I was having with my illness, mm -hmm. with the discomfort of taking my pain regimens. But she seems to not care when it's time for her to give me my medication, either it's late or she has some excuse what she's doing something else, I guess. And I also try to keep her up with it, but then she says I'm just taking over a job. So I don't know what to do. If I'm in pain and it's late, then I'm just supposed to fend for myself. And I don't understand how that's support. Are you backing them up? I mean, cancer is a tough thing to go through. It's a, there's a lot of pain involved, fear. The treatment itself is very, is very painful. What, are you not getting him his medicine? Are you not going to visits with them? Um, I give him his medicine um, when he asks for it. Uh, there's times he will say, oh, no, babe, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I got it. And then he will use it later on in an argument. Oh, you didn't give me my medicine the other day. There has been another time, uh, I, a doctor's appointment. Um, I've tried to go with him to his doctor's appointment, but I will be the one speaking for him. I feel like he won't let the doctor know what's actually wrong with him. Well, Ms. Martin, can, can I say this oh. about, about that? Yes. All men do that. <laughs> I go to the doctor with my husband, and he says nothing, and I tell him what's wrong with him. 
Mm. You know why? Because this men don't tell. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. so so that's not that's not a him thing. That's a dude thing. <laughs> it is. It is. Well, the dudes need to get together and have a conversation. I got this. One no, time, it's, it's it's it. They don't like. It is not within them. Not. It's not something their brain wants to do to to show weakness. You know, well, emotionally they don't want to show explain? weakness. So to tell the doctor, I hurt. This is a problem. Blah blah blah. You know, it it, it goes against their natural grain. And and. You know, we women love to watch you and talk about you. So, you know, Ms. Martin, you think Mr. Tripp is lazy. Why do you think he's lazy? Um, at times, I think he's lazy because I understand uh, he's in pain at times, but it will be times like us getting into an argument, and we will be arguing because he's letting me know how much he's in pain. He will randomly, if we're in a car, he'll randomly hop out the car, run as far as he can. If I pull over and get out, he'll run faster. That's all the energy he has. Do you get out of the car and I run? I get out the car, but I don't run. You I just tell her to stop. get away from me and walk very fast. If you want to call that running. What do you, how do you get into arguments about his pain medication? I this, don't get that This is that how. Part. I'm going to tell you how Miss Angel over here ain't telling the truth. Mm. It was a time where <laughs> I ran out of pain medication and could not refill it due to my insurance. I had a friend that had a mother take the exact the same, the exact same medication I took. It's a mm. nerve medication. This one one decided I'm only calling the mother because I want to cheat. And that's not the case. I needed my medication. She claims that I'm weak because I couldn't move without my medication. It's times I can't get up. It's times I, I, my body's in pain. And what am I supposed to do? Fake it? What if I fall out? Then what is she going to do? I'm no, no Did help you really think Now he he's trying, trying to make to me cheat? sound like a bad guy. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I what, did not. But why do you think you guys get into arguments about his medication? I don't get it. Um, because he's hard-headed, like I said. If He could be complaining to me how much he's in pain, but then go out and act like it's nothing wrong with him. And my thing is, don't complain to me when I'm trying to find a solution for you to, to help you with your pain. If I tell him, go to your doctor, take your test, or go ask your doctor if you get a, a different medication, he doesn't want to do any of that. Okay. Well, I got well. you. I got you. I got you. One time I was on my way to school and he wanted to pick my outfit out. He threw a fit that I did not wear what he sure wanted did. me to wear exactly. Now, Mr. Tripp, why sure would did. you throw a fit? You want to know because why? Because she wouldn't she wear the give me the whole detail. Up. First off, when I was young at the age of 16, that's all I did was design and make clothes and the artists and doing all he that. He punched a hole in the wall. Just okay. Don't forget that part. Okay, that's irrelevant. But anyway. Mm -hmm. um, no, that's relevant. <laughs> but, 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 that's irrelevant. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs>
he picked out some tan pants. Um, the shirt was black and blue, and the pants were black. I mean, the shoes were black and blue. But the pants, I wanted to wear regular jeans, and he wanted to me wear the, the tan, tan pants. pants. I felt like because they were a little bit tight, that's probably why he wanted me to wear them. But um, he threw a fit that I did not wear what he sure wanted did. me to wear exactly. Now, Mr. Tripp, why sure would did. you throw a fit? You want to know because why? Because she wouldn't she wear the give outfit me the whole detail. Up. First off, when I was young at the age of 16, that's all I did was design and make clothes and the artists and doing all he that. He punched a hole in the wall. Just okay. don't forget that part. Okay. That's irrelevant. But anyway. Um, no, that's relevant. But, 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 <laughs> that's irrelevant. But we'll talk about that later. It is relevant. But, Mr. Tripp, I'm going to let you tell your side of the story. Uh, yes, <laughs> ma'am. Not that. See, it, wasn't, it wasn't that, that simple. See, the fit was the shirt was black with a tan, and it was a Converse shirt with the same exact blue to match with the shoes she had on. So the tan was only to bring out what was in the shirt. She didn't want to wear it because I don't know. Maybe she had a, uh, another, you know, plan to wear it. I guess, but I didn't see why. I bought it for that particular reason. I didn't know why she was trying to alter it and mix it up like a Rubik's cube. I didn't get it. <laughs> now, Mr. Tripp, she's a grown woman. <laughs> Now, if she wants to wear, you know, a different kind of outfit, what's that got to do with you? And the, and the deep part is, did you actually punch a hole in the wall over it? I punched it. It wasn't because of the outfit, because of he did not stand in the argument, which made me just go he-man on the wall. So you really argued about argued whether or not he'll close match. Because, see, match. this is what the situation is. When I take this shopping or vice versa do for me, we go get what we exactly want. We don't play that, oh, here, I thought of you. So when she went in there and bought what she bought, I didn't understand it was time for her to go to school, how this wasn't the exact outfit she wanted to wear. I didn't, I didn't get it. Now, Mr. Tripp, you, you sounded like a trip. <laughs> <laughs> Clothes can be mixed and matched. You, you shouldn't lose your, your mind if, if it, it's not like Garanimals. We, we're all grown up now. Right. It, it seems like Nobody he thinks what what I don't are. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fight that, ha uh, that happened. A family member put their hands on Brandon, not once but twice. And a family member also put their hands on me one time. Um, and that has been a big issue in our relationship because Brandon thinks that I don't have his back when it comes to them having their feelings or their don't. weight or their disrespect towards him. Is, is your family unusually aggressive? Do you believe Brandon wants to control Kara? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Martin, you say you get a lot of interference from family in your relationship. Yes. Why don't you tell me about that? Um, well, there was a fight that happened uh, between us. Um, Y'all fight a lot, don't you? No, not not me, him. Oh, we do, but not me <laughs> and him. <laughs> um, it was with family. Uh -huh. um, there was a fight that ha uh, that happened. Um, a family member's uh, baby father uh, put their hands on Brandon, not once but twice, and a family member also put their hands on me one time. Um, and that has been a big issue in our relationship because Brandon thinks that I don't have his back when it comes to them having their feelings or their don't. ways or their disrespect towards him. Okay. Why don't you tell me why you feel she doesn't have your back? She lets her family, family. disrespect me. It, I mean, they can say any and everything they want. She doesn't say anything to Am them. Am I supposed to pull a switch it's, out? It's over Facebook. <laughs> if she's allowing them to make accusations towards me on how I live my life or how am I treating her and not knowing that's not right or putting me down or even for my cancer, the whole fight, the whole time, the guy was disrespecting my cancer. And I don't understand that. She just lets her family say whatever. I have a story, actually. It was a time me and her got up early in the morning mm -hmm. and she was being late for school. School, and I was doing everything I could to put everything together so this woman get to school on time. We get into argument. She says I'm trying to sabotage her from going to school. Her family jumps in. She lets her family pretty much just run the whole argument, just making it seem like I didn't know what I was talking about. I'm the reason for her being late. The family was she was asleep. She didn't know what was going on. She just heard us being loud and it just accused me of everything. Instead of her being there for me, like, you know, okay, it's both of us, she just let her family blame it on me. Do you back him up when you're. I mean, are your fa is your family? Well, she's cut off. Well, let me ask you this: Is your family unusually aggressive? Um, yeah. What, well, they're usually judgmental. Not that. Well, yeah, but they're usually Super judgmental. Yeah, day. judgmental. 
Do you back your husband up when your your family tries to judge him? Don't worry, we'll wait. I mean, I have his back. Um, what, where he's going, where it's like, as just like the altercation that I just explained, the fight, um, he wants me to make them apologize. Mm. And if I can't make somebody apologize for something that they don't feel like they're sorry for, then what am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to say, hey, you need to apologize. And if you don't, I'm going to slap you. Like, what am I supposed to do? What you're supposed to do is this. Say, hey, that's my husband. And you can't come over here and disrespect him. Thank if you. you can't treat him with respect, don't come by. Okay. That's what you do. <laughs> That's it. And we're both we, we're both I out mean, of foster care. I mean, I stopped talking well, to them. Too. I cut them off. You, you're so. both out of what both out of foster care. So I don't understand. Like, like we don't got no family. So once we got so together, so who are we talking about? No, no I'm saying uh, the like the family I'm that saying, I cut off. Up. Saying like growing up, That's like growing up, us both being in foster care, you know, we didn't have we didn't have family. Like me personally, I was I was abandoned, left on the street. She was adopted, so we grew up not really having support. They just were all fake. Her mm -hmm. family was kind of in her life. They were kind of in my life. Once we got older, they showed their true colors from our both of our story, uh, you know, point of views. So once we got together, here comes the family trying to act like they're apart, like they've been there oh, to full so both they, of just us. like your family. Yeah. Just like your yes, family. Like, so they, 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 they kind of washed cousin. their hands of you, and then you guys got together, and yeah. now they're... And they're like, oh, we're a big, happy family, just like his family as well. I'm not going to disagree on that, his well, part. And I hear what you're saying, and I can understand both of your resentment in that, in that area, which is why I would even suggest more heavily that you two band together as, as the country Martin trip. Right. You know what I mean? You, it, it's your... Those people did what they did, or you know, and, and you grew up the way you grew up. You didn't have that strength and that and 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 that security and stability. He's trying to give that to you, and you should give that to him. I understand because that because everybody else is kind of flaky. Me <laughs> trying to check my family, though, it has been times. But if if I didn't do it the way he wants to do it, I still didn't have his back. Okay, I right. I see what you're saying. She right about that one. She right. I see what you're saying. What is the greatest obstacle in Kara and Brandon's marriage? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I think you two are a nice couple. I think you're a little young and silly, <laughs> even for 31, mm. but you're a nice couple. What you guys need to figure out is how to have a marriage and how to have a family. And I don't think you know how to do it because you didn't get to grow up in it. It's a hard thing to do, getting two people in one space and decide uh, jointly where they want to go and how they want to get there. You have to have a conversation about things and you have a conversation about things and disagree and not get angry and not control one another and be out of each other's sight and still have faith and comfort that the other one is still there for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need to be different about it. Ms. Martin, Ms. Tripp, you got an opportunity. You got an opportunity to build a family that you've never had before. Before you ever start yelling, fussing, cussing, or carrying on, you got to remember that he's your strongest support and she's your strongest support. You know, lay off of that stuff a little bit and be more supportive of his cancer. You know, Care for him. Cancer is a very rigorous thing to fight, and you have to care for him and love on him and be on top of it and understanding about it and, and, and be really super grown about it. And I think he really loves you, and I think you really love him. You just have to learn how, oh, I know what to do. I wrote a book called Making Marriage Work. Since you haven't seen a marriage that works, <laughs> I I'll, I'll gave you a book about them. And then maybe we can, maybe you can work it out. Oh, well, that's perfect. Thank All you. right? Thank you. This matter is adjourned. <laughs>today we we found out the judge said that we should trust one another and that we should be there for one another that we should support one another and i need to let her support me and stop being foolish and <laughs> i see i have been foolish the judge let me know uh to care more for my husband's cancer um and to just be more understanding and for him to stop with his controlling ways <laughs>